Hey guys. <laughs>Hey guys, my name is Armando with Hope Garden CV, and this week's episode we're going to be building a 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. So I'm going to grab my handy dandy keys. I would never recommend to use a box cutter on this guy. For those of you that don't know, Gorilla tents are not cheap, so if you cut this thing, you're pretty much screwed. So Gorilla Grow tents go, they run a couple hundred bucks. Uh, I guess it, it depends on the size. Uh, the smallest that I've seen is a two by two. Uh, and the largest that I've ever seen is a 15 by 15, pretty massive. It'll pretty much cover this, this entire room. But just for video's sake, we're gonna do a four by four today. Uh, disclaimer, this is my first time ever building a Gorilla Girl tent. So it's gonna be a learning experience for the both of us. So if you guys see me doing something wrong, please write it in the comments below, be honest. Uh, so that we can, uh, everybody can learn from each other. So here we go. Let's check this thing out. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. All right. So it looks like what we got in here. Uh, we got some instructions. Yeah, who needs those? Uh, we got some corners, some corner tubings. We got some of the long pipes, and then this looks like it's gonna go through the uh, for the roof, for the ceiling. Cool, let's get started. Yeah, just show a couple of these shots. These people are gonna wanna know what's to here. All right. Feels like Christmas in July. Oh, we're in October. Oops. Anyway. All right, looks like good fabric. All right. It's like a body bag. All right, so from what I've seen, uh, they recommend for you guys to build the foundation first, build the tarp on the bottom first, and then build the pipes afterwards. And a uh, nice little tip that I saw online too, uh, they were saying that this is waterproof. So if for whatever reason, if your systems have a leak, uh, this, uh, this canister will actually capture gallons of water so that's uh, that's pretty cool all right so let's start building the frame section a of the instructions is basically the foundation of the tent and the ceiling of the tent this is a great zipper if you want to you want to come and get a shot of this dude Look at the size of the zipper. That's a great zipper. Good quality, good seal. Yeah, this is the back wall, the side walls, and the floor. Very well built. That looks more like the floor. Hotter. We getting hotter. And now, I don't know, let's look at the instructions. All right, so next thing is the B poles. B. Now the B poles go straight into the sides here. I'm gonna show this. All right, it's looking like a grow tent. All right, next one is C. So I like how they set it up because the instructions are set up that you put the pipes in first in alphabetical order. So it's kind of kind of hard not to get it right, I guess. All right, let's 
see what comes next. If you have a ceiling fan at home, be careful. Like I said, watch the ceiling fan. <laughs> All right, Mondo, get back to work. <laughs> Definitely not gonna fit, dude. I think this is an extender. That's why it's called C plus. Okay, we'll, we'll leave it at seven feet. Yeah, we'll leave it at seven feet. <laughs> oh. Sorry guys, I get a little excited sometimes. You guys, I'm gonna be a pro at this by the time I'm done. It's that easy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is so much fun. Alright, so let's put the A's together and we're done with the frame. So these are, um, these are designs to hold up the lighting system, pretty much everything you're gonna put inside of there. All right, well, we got the frame set up. Now let's just get the tarp on here. All right, so these are the walls here. So yeah, once it basically comes up, yeah, the roof is actually a separate piece, so. So I think this is the, uh, I think this is the liner for the inside. This is what captures the water if it leaks. Yeah, and then this straps onto the pole. If you want to get a shot, a close up of this guy. You just take these little straps. Come through here. Yeah. It's done. And uh, for whatever reason your system leaks, this can capture a lot of the water. Um, and it'll buy you a lot of time. Yeah, everything looks good, great quality so far. I'm really happy with the product so far. So <clears throat> we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the plants look like. That's when the real test is going to come in. Okay, so let's see what the plants are going to look like. All right, back to the instructions. Okay, so five. So you basically lay the floor out, the walls out. So, so carefully guide each corner of the roof. Okay, so now we gotta put the roof piece on. Okay, and I'm assuming the gorilla is the front. Yeah, the back. Yeah, that's the back, the sides, and the front. Yeah. In. Pull these walls in. All right, so right now, if you guys are building this by, your, by yourself at home, it's totally doable. I'm just trying to make it so that there's the least creases as possible. The more that this thing creases and uncreases, um, it's eventually gonna start giving in, in some areas. So the less movement, the better. So right now, I'm just folding the walls in so that I can move it back a little bit. And then I'll be able to put the roof on because of the, uh, because of the fan.
So we basically put the base first, the frame, you put the roof on next, and then the last thing you do is zip up the walls. So what I'm looking at, it looks like there's a door in the front and a door in the back. So if you have this up against, you know, a place where it's hard to access from the back, um, you know, or if you need to care for your plans, do a little pruning, do whatever you got to do. Um, it looks like there's a door in the front, door in the back. So I, I like that a lot. All right, looks like the zipper ends there. Way down. Now, one of the coolest features that I like about this tent, you guys, depending on what you're growing, some plants don't like to be disturbed. Uh, depending on what photo period they have. So it looks like Gorilla Tent put a window where you can peel back, take a look at your plants of doing some observation, and you don't have to, you don't have to disturb your plants if you don't need to. Um, so yeah, I think that's, that feature is pretty cool. We're building, we're building. Zipper stop right there. There's a zipper that goes from bottom to top. Oh, it looks like there's a zipper that goes around the whole bottom too. All the way around. You can vent it and it has these little straps here so that the air doesn't leak. So once you put your ventilation system in here, you just squeegee it up. That way the air doesn't leak. Good to go. For convenience sake, looks like they put a window on both, both doors. They have a little pocket in here. If you want to put some pH meters in here, pH up and down, uh, you know, humidity gauge, uh, you just have a little pocket in here for so it looks like this is the main door in the front, and then the door in the back is just for you to access the plants in the back. Um, that way you're not having to crawl inside the tent and screw things up in there. You could just access the tent, the tent from the back and just nice and convenient. So if you notice, they all look exactly the same. Some of them are E, some of them are F, meaning some of them are gonna be on top of each other, like so. So the F, F bars go first, and then the E bars go on top. So the way I'd recommend to do it is instead of bending the bars outward, because uh, you can you can probably damage it, just scoot it to the side a little bit, push it up, and then just slowly shimmy it in. That's the safest safest way to do it. That way you're not breaking anything. Now this is just support beams, so whenever you hang the grow lights, uh, pretty much anything you want to hang on here, this is just the support beams for that. Once it's on there, you can just move it around evenly. See, now you can move it super easy. Watch. All right, perfect. So the best position to put this is on both sides so that it's not covering the vent. So once the, uh, the air ducts are in here, uh, it's not disturbing the light or the, uh, the filtration system or anything. All right, so this extra piece of skirt, you guys, is if you guys wanna grow like tomatoes or something that grows insanely tall, you can add these C plus pipes to your grow tent and it adds about an extra foot to your grow tent. And there's a skirt here to extend extend that one foot, if you guys can see that. But for right now, just for the sake of, uh, of this video, we're just gonna build the seven foot, uh, but it, apparently it looks like you can extend it up to eight feet, which I think is pretty cool. Do you see? Dog approved. 
All right, everyone. So that was the build for the Gorilla Grow Tent, the 4x4. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I have a ton of fun making these videos for you guys. So if you guys can do me and yourself a favor and subscribe to the channel uh, and hit the like button, it helps me out a ton and it helps me to also create more content for you guys. So again, thank you guys so much. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.